the main character is currently working as a tutor for this girl, Rico. In addition, he also has a little sister, and her name is Mew. When Rico is getting a ruler from her bag, she is exposing her back to him. I'm not sure if she is giving him a hint at this point. Anyways, since he is a man of culture, he is using observation hacky and enjoying such a magnificent view. Suddenly, Mew barged into his room and yelled at him for staring at Rico. After that, it is Mew's turn to get tutored by him, so Rico can go home. Now then, Rico whispered something to him, and she is very close to him, although she could just say it out loud. For an unknown reason, it looks like Mew is getting jealous, and instead of telling Rico off, she chose to flame him instead. He has no idea what to do since he is a healthy young man, and his Excalibur is asking him to go for it. However, he also doesn't want Mew to hate him for that, so he is having a hard time making a choice. In the end, he knew that he should never turn his back on his family, so he chose Mew. After that, he listened to Mew's advice and requested Rico to stand further away from him. That made her angry, and she tries to gaslight him into thinking that he is the problem. Despite that, he is not backing down and told her that she might make him misinterpret her action. Well, she is pressing her hopes and dreams against him, so there is not much to misinterpret anyway. As expected, she became sad and told him that she will be more careful next time. He quickly told Rico that she is not in the wrong, but Rico does not respond and left the room. Then, for an unknown reason, Mew got angry at him for treating her that way, although she is the one who said all of that just now. Both of them are arguing with each other because of that. Now, in the meantime, Rico is still at the door, and she apologized to them for causing all of this. On the next day, he is spinning a fact that no one can refute. Suddenly, someone knocked on his door because they actually respect his privacy. It is Mew, and she informed him that Rico is not coming back to get tutored by him. It seems like that issue yesterday has caused her to make that decision. Perhaps she is really hurt by that. After listening to that, he looks very sad. Mew got mad at him for looking that sad. Well, he is sad because he lost his side income, and Mew probably will not understand that anyway. Anyhow, she also got angry at him for staring at Rico's superior genes all the time. In addition, she also told him off for staring at other women's hopes and dreams when they are outside. It's not like he has a choice or anything. Then he said something about her, and I just realized that she has those inferior genes just like the editor. After listening to his remark, she became angry at him. He quickly explained to her that this is just a misunderstanding, and he did not mean it that way. Then she closed the door, but it looks like she did not lock it because locking doors in anime actually breaks the timeline. After that, she suddenly gave him a kiss because that is what a family does, right? That surprised him, but he accepted her warm family gesture. In the end, I guess she is at Sundara after all. Without wasting any time, they begin their family bonding activity. After he did all sorts of family-oriented stuff, he begins to explore her dungeon, which is for family only. He did not wear any protective gear because it is very disrespectful to his family. In the end, he gave her some family-sized protein shake. After their family bonding session is over, she asked him if he belongs to her alone now. Well, he is her family, so I don't know why she is asking that. Anyways, he told her that they are lovers now, and he has finally embraced Alabama culture on that day, so did she. When the exam results are out, she is very happy because she got a 90 on her math test. Not going to lie, as an Asian, that is still pretty bad because she should get a full mark on that. Anyways, since she is at Sundara, she told her mom that he has nothing to do with it, although he has been tutoring her all this time. Despite saying that, she entered his room and asked him to help her with her study again. When he is trying to explain some sense to her, he realized that she has gone, just like my dad when he went to get the milk. Anyways, it looks like she did not even want to listen to him since he is just yapping. After a while, he went to her room to call for her, but there is no response. When he opens the door, he realized that she is taking an afternoon nap. He knew that this is a perfect opportunity so he wants to pull a family-friendly prank on her. He begins to explore her family-oriented dungeon. 
and gave her some freshly baked protein pie. In the end, during all of that, she did not even wake up. I am not sure if that is possible. I guess I will try that on the editor for research purposes. On the next day, he requested her to become a brave and stunning woman by not wearing anything that can protect her. She is reluctant at first, but she gave in to his request in the end because he is her family. When they are on the train, he wants to roleplay as a famous actor in the Japanese educational documentary, so he is using her as his acting material. During all of that, no one really noticed their Oscar-worthy acting. When they got off the train, she accidentally yelled that she is in her default skin under her protective gear. Well, as expected, that got a lot of attention, and those guys are even trying to take pictures of her. Damn, that is pretty messed up, and that is the end of Mew's route. The next one is Rico's route, and he is actually not too timey. After he was flamed by Mew, he has no choice but to turn his back on his family, and decided to choose Rico. Right after that, Rico's phone suddenly rings, and it looks like something urgent came up, so she has to go home immediately. After he finished his bath, he entered his room and realized that Rico is waiting for him in his room. He is surprised when he saw her, and he accidentally exposed his Excalibur right in front of her. He yelled like a little boy, and Mew came to check on him. He quickly told her some lies to chase her away. When the coast is clear, Rico explained that her phone call just now is actually fake, and she did that just to sneak away from them, which ultimately caught him off guard. Now she is all alone with him, and she can study in peace. Wait, I think she means it that way, right? I guess not, since she took his hand and landed it on her superior jeans. Then she confessed her love to him, and wants to know how he feels about her. She also stated that she couldn't control herself now, and she is betraying Mew. He has no idea what she is talking about since he is not taking the Alabama road in this timeline. After that, she switched into her default skin and told him that it's time for protein time. At that moment, she also noticed that something is rising, but it is not the shield hero. He quickly told her that he is a healthy young man, so this is just a normal reaction. After that, both of them started the protein time. It seems like this is her first time getting her dungeon explored and she doesn't belong to the streets after all. In the end, he knew that she is not his family yet, so he retreats at the last second and uses the protein blast outside her dungeon. Ever since that day, it looks like both of them are in a relationship. One day, he received a letter from someone. It looks like he has no idea who sent that to him, so he decided to check it out. That person wants to meet him at the gym storeroom, so he went there. When he opened the door, he is surprised to see Rico there. She told him that she is the one who sent him the letter because she wants to find an excuse to be alone with him. At that exact moment, he knew that his time to come has come. After that, she changed into her gym uniform because they are going to exercise very hard later. Before that, she makes sure to lock the door, and she actually did it without breaking a sweat. After that, both of them are sitting next to each other, and the situation is quite awkward for him. He has no idea what to say to her. He is reluctant at first, but she informed him that no one will be coming except them. She begins the calorie-burning exercise by playing Bouncing Simulator 2024 with him. Trust me, that will burn a lot of calories. Their healthy exercise lasts for about 8 minutes. In the end, he knew that she might need some healthy snacks after this so he baked her the finest and healthiest protein pie in the world. Suddenly, they could hear someone at the door. It is Mew, and he knew that he would get busted for busting. Fortunately, it was locked by Rico, so she couldn't enter. However, Mew stated that she has a key for the back door, so she is going through there instead. At that moment, both of them knew that they would get caught. Fortunately, the bell rang, so Mew gives up on her thought and left. They are relieved, but Rico suddenly remembered that she has gym class next and her clothes are dirty from all of his protein just now. Well, it looks like that is a wholesome happy ending. Thus, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime.